Welcome to the final match of the semi-finals between Thebus and Drya of BSL Season 13 Hasu League. Bottom left hand corner, we have Thebus starting as the pink Terran. Up right hand corner, we have Jiraiya starting as the red Zerg. And this is going to be on Vertebrae, which is one of the unique maps. Part of BSL, it was not played a lot at any level because most people vetoed it or got rid of it. I don't know that either of these players expected this to go to an ace match. Potentially, lurker play could be advantageous with, you can see kind of the ramps across the middle. However, I have a feeling it's going to end up favoring Phoebus overall, just because it is one of those maps where there's a lot of room to run aggressive units. I mean, where do you even stop an aggressive push? You got to stop it here. You got to stop it somewhere over here. Uh, and even then, it's like cutting you off from your third and things like that. It's, it's very difficult to stop aggression early. Uh, as a Zerg player, as far as I can tell, which means Jiraiya, where he has refused to go Mutalisk early, I feel like the best play for him is to go all in Mutalisk, to go two hatch all in Mutalisk and try to just bully his way through the game that way. But I have not seen him do that thus far. And my concern is, is that Phoebus has so many mid game and early game pressures. And this map is so wide open that he can just go ahead and be aggressive, honestly, at any location. The one advantage maybe for Jiraiya is if he did want to go for more of that surround Zerg type play with the Lurkers and Lings, there is a lot of open area to potentially go for surrounds, but you need to be able to track the army down, which means exposing overlords, which anyway, point being, I feel like this is a map that may, fa may favor Phoebus' style of play. Immediately moving out that SCV, not immediately, Barracks moving out that SCV, it looks like we're seeing a 12 hatch from Jiraiya opposite corner, and I really do hope to see that two hatch play. And even this overlord moving like this at the corner, like there's not a lot of space to defend and, and protect that. So I wouldn't even be shocked to see Phoebus move a Marine out to potentially aggressively go after that. We are seeing a 205-ish extractor, which suggests it is gonna be a Mutalisk opener. Phoebus moving in with that SCV, he is gonna go ahead and get a look at that gas timing. And the drone walking into the base for Jiraiya. Before that SCV able to block the way he's going to... Well, never mind. Taking a little bit of damage. And the SCV now going to blockade. So the drone denied a bit of information. It's going to have to hang out at the natural expansion. Actually, I would go... This might even be worthwhile to take a couple shots. Okay, now trying to back off. At the very least, what this does is this allows that overlord to potentially get into more of a defensive position over that natural expansion by itself some time. So Thebus is going to lose that opportunity. The drone now going to go ahead and flee. Is that Overlord going to take any hits? No, it looks like not. So advantage there. Maybe that was part of Jiraiya's game plan. And it looks like he is opting for two hatch Mutalisk. So the question is, is can Thebus defend it? I want to see him open up. So he's going for two barracks. I wanted to see the engineering bay opener actually at looking at this. So with the scouting information he has, though, he's just going to drop in a quick command center without a lot of defensive units in place. Initial Zerg link working on that SCV, but going kind of a standard two barracks opener with a refinery to follow to go ahead and get that academy up. Go ahead. Usually academy starts stim pack to play a little bit more of a solid defensive match. I think he realizes Jiraiya's situation. So I think his plan is, is to weather the storm, make sure he doesn't get busted, and then more or less win the game from there. And I think Jiraiya knows, yeah, it's going to be do or die situation from that side of things. So Lair finishing, SCV getting boxed out. I think both players know what they're up against in this final match. SCV just needs a tap. A drone could pull off the line and get that final kill. Finally being wiped out. Lair's up, Spire being planted at the natural expansion. The Marine count grows. An engineering bay is going to be necessary. And honestly, I feel like Phoebus can overcommit on turrets, knowing the situation with this map. Zergling's starting to flood forward. I think Bunker is being planted. I think that Phoebus got a good look at the amount of Zerglings that were being produced. The Zerglings need to be preserved, and honestly, they need to keep their health up. Phoebus bullying out there. Oh! One Zergling getting picked off, and every Zergling counts. And Thebus baiting them in. More Zerglings getting picked off. Jiraiya needs to, honestly, I would just pull them straight out at this stage. I would not keep them on the front at all. 
And I take it back, he's, rather than just going straight up to Hatch Mutalisk, he is plopping down a Hatchery, and he's going to go for the three Hatch Gas play, which, again, I feel like is a mistake on this map. Second Gas getting grabbed. Comsat Station as well. Stimpak, not that far off. We'll go ahead and try to get a look at the initial Comsats that are dropped by Thebus. Moving out with some Marines and Medics as well to go ahead and pick off Again, picking off those Zerglings on the front. Oops. And I have a feeling that, yeah, now... There's the commsats. A little bit delayed. So, sees the Spire. Sees the Creep Colony. But does he find the third? And that's actually going to be critical for Thebus overall. Is recognizing whether he's going up against just straight two hatch or whether he's going up against three hatch. I think, he re I think taking out those Marines is being a little bit more aggressive with their positioning now out in the field. Initial Mutalisks flocking out. Hydralisks then being planted behind this. So, and uh, I feel like this is just a mistake on this particular map. Turrets being planted. They're not quite there yet, though. The Mutalisks able to get on top of the SCVs and delay it. However, one Mutalisk getting picked off. They're finishing just in the nick of time. And the Mutalisks having to eat a lot of fire as they were sneaking back out. So Jiraiya looked like he was going to end up, but a little bit of Miss Micro and two additional turrets now in that backfield. He doesn't have the full eight yet that you typically see. So initial harassment not paying off. Phoebus taking this opportunity to move out on the field almost catches Mutalisks as they were moving out. And Phoebus getting very aggressive and taking a lot of map control. I think now realizing that Jiraiya was opting Rather than planning that, and maybe the Sutton Colonies were the indicator, rather than plopping two Sutton Colonies down, that he's going to go for more of a defensive play, as has, has been Jiraiya's MO thus far. And Phoebus now moving aggressively with the Medic Marines. Yeah, out on the map, and this was my concern. This was my concern right here, is that Jiraiya wouldn't be able to hold it. Like, there's just not a lot of places to engage with Mutalisks. Jiraiya now in the red. I don't know that he has enough to defend this natural, even. Stimpak is there, engaging the Mutalisks. More Mutalisks down, the Sunken Colony down, the Hydralisks being wiped out. And Phoebus breaking through the natural expansion, the Hydralisks not even getting shots off. Another Overlord looks like it might get picked off in the air. And Jiraiya calling GG, trying to do too much, trying to be too clever in between. And did not respect Phoebus's early game aggression. Phoebus finding the opportunity upon not seeing additional Mutalisks flood in. And also seeing the, the smaller number immediately moves out and takes the final game to move to the finals. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to move to the opposite side of the semifinal and check out White versus Masucci. Great series between these two. Honestly, we'll have to see. It almost felt like this might, might have been the real final. But we'll check a look at Masucci versus White, make uh, observations from there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.